Alrighty. Welcome back to another video. Um, today we are going to be doing a tier list video. You've probably seen these going around, you know. They've been uh, doing their time on the internet. Uh, so I thought I'd do one, but I wasn't quite sure what to do. First I was thinking, like, what's something I know a lot about? And I was like, ah, eh. I mean, they're like, they're a car. Like, I know a lot about cars, but I was like, eh, who really cares? Who wants to watch that, right? So then I was thinking, well, what's something I know not that much about? I thought of famous works of art. Don't know a lot about it. Let's uh, let's just hop in here. We're gonna start here with the Mona Lisa. Now, got some notes here about it. Um, we're starting strong here. The Mona Lisa, it's a classic. Technically all of these are classics, so might be saying it's a classic a lot this video. Uh, but yeah, we're starting strong. Um, obviously, there's the, the myth behind the smile. It's kind of like a revolutionary type of thing here, right? Because this is the first painting or picture ever, really. Uh, with the subject smiling. This is done by uh, Leo D. We're gonna go ahead and start this off strong. We're gonna put the Mona Lisa here at the top. We're gonna give it an A rank. I wanna leave some room at the way top, the S rank, uh, just in case, you know. We got the Birth of Venus here. Another classic. I'm, I'm going to try and not say that a lot this video, but I'm going to. The Birth of Venus by uh, Sandro Badaciu. I don't know how to say that name. Um, first off, this guy isn't really celeb. Nobody knows his name, so that's already points taken off. Everybody knows Leonardo da Vinci. You know what I'm saying here? Uh, what do we got here in the notes? It's a little more colorful than uh, the Mona Lisa, the last one. It's a little more of an eye grabber, you know? Pulls you in. If you're just like an average viewer like me, it's more pleasing to the eye. And, uh, yeah. The next point I got is I never really understood the, the myth, the mythicality behind this uh, picture. I don't know, Venus is... I think, I think the story is she's coming out of the ocean. But then I asked myself, if she's coming out of the ocean, why isn't she, like, coming out of the water, you know? She's on top of the seashell. It looks like she just floated in from uh, offshore. But, you know, whatever. And, um, oh, the last point I got here is uh, Venus is looking pretty cute. What can I say? So we're going to go ahead and give her a, what do I got here, a B rank. Again, leaving some room up top. This one's just not quite as good as the Mona Lisa, in my opinion. Love this one. Gotta love it. We got The Last Supper. Now, being Catholic, I got a little bit of a bias, but you just gotta love this one. Everybody in the Catholic Church loves it, you know? It's like the last time Jesus is like hanging out with his buds, having a good time, you know, we've all been there. We've all been having the time of our lives with our friends for the last time before we're crucified. So I find this picture very relatable. Leo D, again, another celebrity. Uh, oh yes, also this is held up over time, which to me is a very important aspect, held up just like Christianity. So I'm gonna have to give this one a A rank. Right on up there with the Mona Lisa. Now we're getting a little abstract, a little different here. A little newer, a little more modern. We got The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. All right, now I got a couple gripes about this one. 
I've actually been to the Salvador Dali Museum in uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. That's where my grandparents live. A little fun fact for you. And uh, I've seen more of Salvador's work. And I gotta say, this, this one's just kind of weak, in my opinion. It's just nowhere near as good as some of his other stuff, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like it's got a little bit... It's a little bit too famous for what it really is. So we're gonna have to, what What else So I got to, written down here? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have to give the persistence of memory. Also, just the title is just no good in my opinion. We're gonna give this boy a D rank. Starry Night. See, I know this one. This one's got a good title. I can't knock it for that, but I can knock it for some other stuff. Starry Night by Vinnie Van Gogh. You know him, you love him. Other than the title and the, the celebrity artist, I, I, in my opinion, this really doesn't have that much going for it. It's very bland, you know? Monochromatic, as they say in the biz. Uh, very much just blue, black, and yellow. Just a little bit too abstract for me. Uh, we're gonna be placing this boy in the E section. American Gothic by Grant Wood. Alright, very American, again, I've already said all this before so I'm gonna breeze through it. American, which to me is a plus. Nothing about the painting itself is very special in my opinion, but to me that's a good thing because I know I'm just a normal person and I know these are some normal people, but I also know I'm kind of an interesting person too, you know? Once you get to know me, I'm like, pretty cool. So I want to get to know these people. These are like characters in my mind. I don't know. I see this everywhere. And <clears throat> I'm going to be given this one. This, is, this might be a little controversial actually, but in my opinion, this is the very first S rank. Number seven, a Sunday afternoon. What is this? A Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jate by Georgie Surratt. Who knows? Um, I like the setting of this painting. Um, I don't know. I'm personally not a big fan of the beach, but this doesn't look like a beach to me. I'm interested because it's grass that then goes into the water, whatever type of body of water that is. Uh, but, I don't know. The lack of faces on the <clears throat> people in this painting, I don't know, it's kind of just a little bit disturbing, you know? Kind of off-putting. Uh, not a big fan of that at all. Uh, the title, it's just too much. Nobody wants to say a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jaffe. Nobody likes that. That's just too much. That's a mouthful. Um, yeah, really, the only thing going for this painting is the setting. I'm going to have to give this one a B rank, though, because everything else is <clears throat> pretty good. Pretty good. The Creation of Adam by Mike Jello. You know him, you love him. Another celebrity. Once again, being Catholic, gotta love this. It's a classic. And I don't know. I feel like the nudity in this is a little bit unnecessary. <clears throat> also, I feel like in here there's a lot of unused space. I feel like the clouds are just a lot of filler. It just seems a little lazy to me. Um, so I'm gonna have to go with a C rank here. If it weren't for the Catholic thing, this would be much lower. Now we got David, once again, Mikey Angelo. We all know him, another celebrity artist. Um, I gotta say, we're moving into statues now, the last three. Uh, I feel like they're kind of in a league of their own, in my opinion. They're a little more interesting than the, the paintings. 
I feel like I gotta give them some extra points because they seem like they'd be a little harder to construct and whatnot. So anyways, moving on into this, the Statue of David. Uh, the pose here is timeless. Even today you see like the cover of magazines, people striking this pose. And the guy, David, here is looking real Greek. Take that as you will, but I'm just pointing that out. He's looking really, really Greek. Um, the name of this statue is just David, which I like. Because once again, it kind of takes me into like this thing where I'm like, oh, it's just another person and I can give them like a personality of their own and you know how it is. So I'm a big fan of this one. A lot of it is just the title, but still big fan. We're given this one, boom, A rank, The Thinker, by <coughs> August A. Rodden. Um, now, this, this kind of sticks, stands out because unconventionally it uses color in the statue, which I know it's because it's bronze or whatever and it's just like rust or whatever but still very bold in my opinion. Um, I like, oops, excuse me. I like how this statue kind of like provokes some thought, like you're thinking about what he's thinking, you know? Like what could, what could this guy be thinking about for this long? He hasn't moved, he's just been thinking. What could he be thinking about? So I like that aspect. Uh, I don't know. The, the name, however, is kind of a little... It's simple, which, as you saw before, I enjoy, but this time around, it's a little bit too simple. I kind of wish there was a little bit of a background here, but what are you going to do? Uh, this guy is getting a B rank filling up these top tiers. I'm a I'm a lover of art, I guess. We saved the best for last, what can I say? <coughs> oh, bless me. We got the bean. We all know it, we all love it. It's the bean. I know its real name is like Cloudgate or something, but who cares, because bean is a better name. Bean is just a better name, in my opinion, and everybody's opinion, really. Who wants to say Cloudgate when you could say Bean? Uh, when I, w I recently took a trip to Chicago on a spring break, looking at some colleges, I didn't like any of them, but you know what I did like? The Bean. The Bean was the highlight of the trip. It's all I wanted to see the whole time. I really looked up to the Bean as like the, the ultimate of ultimate sculptures. I believe the Bean is really the heart of Chicago. It's placed smack dab in the middle of Michigan Avenue. That That's a good point. So this Bean, gotta love it. This boy is an S tier. Come and fight me if you disagree, which I can't imagine you would. I mean, how could you say Starry Night is better than any of the other ones? Or how could you say that, oh, the Mona Lisa is tr is trash compared to uh, the Starry Night or uh, I can't even remember the names of the other ones, you know? So that's just, that just proves my point. Anyways, we're going to conclude this video right here. Leave a like if you liked it. Share it with a friend and uh, I'll see you kiddos later.